Well, today marks the one year anniversary since Hurricane Matthew hit the east. It actually made landfall along the South Carolina coast, but that wasn't enough to spare areas here in Eastern Carolina. One of the areas hardest hit Craven County. That's where WNCT's Courtney Allen took a look at recovery. You just don't you don't never know you wake up one morning and it's in the backyard. And the next morning you wake up, it's across the highway. I mean, you don't, it just comes that fast. Mitchell Townsend has lived on Streets Ferry Road in Vanceboro his entire life. Uh, 52 years. <laughs> All my life. Experiencing a number of hurricanes. This house has been underwater, in, in water. I mean, we've rebuilt, rebuilt this house twice. He put the home up on stilts after Irene, like many people in the neighborhood, before Hurricane Matthew tore through last year. I mean, it was just water everywhere. It was just flooded. I mean, I was coming in on a boat, so bottom platform on the steps. I could drive the boat across it. I'm about three, right four there. foot. Swift Creek, part of the News River Basin next to the neighborhood, breached its banks, inundating the area. Uh, it might have got in the floors of the house if we hadn't raised it up. Probably would have. In New Bern, it wasn't much better. In fact, the flooding there was enough to make city officials reevaluate their storm drainage. Dallas Blackston is the first ward alderman. Looking at the uh, the older pipes that we have in the ground, and they're they're quite old in the older parts of the city. They're terracotta, a lot of them. They're undersized. And so we're look, working on capital improvements to actually replace a lot of that. Storm drainage, also something Townsend says needs improvement back in Vanceboro. I can't tell that it's got any better. I mean, they say cleaning the creek out and stuff would help. He says hurricanes are just a part of life in eastern North Carolina, and he isn't going anywhere. No, I'm not leaving. No, I've lived here all my life. This is oceanfront property. Right in the middle of Vanceboro. <laughs> I'm staying. In Craven County, Courtney Allen, nine on your side. Blackson says they've been appropriating a million and a half dollars to rework those storm drains in New Bern. We reached out to Vanceboro to see what they're working on for storm drainage, but they weren't available for immediate comment.